Good evening, or as they say in the Philippines, magandang gabi. So today I'm going to attempt to answer this simple but weirdly complex question of is moving to the Philippines a good idea? So feel free to sit back and relax as we address if you should move to the Philippines. In this first section, we will be looking at the things that you need to know about the Philippines that are both positive and negative. And I think the best place to start is the fact that some people love living in the Philippines and some people absolutely hate it. And it's always best to see two sides of the coin. So this week I've been doing some research uh, specifically for this video on forums and social media, those kind of things, about what life is like for foreigners after COVID-19. So one of the first ones was the serious concern about safety and scams in the Philippines. Interestingly, one comment was talking about the Philippines and it was saying, saying that the Philippines is actually the murder capital of the world. So I had a little look at some statistics, as I do, and I found that during 2019 to 2020, the murder rate in the Philippines was 4.4%. Compare this to Western countries, such as the US, where the murder rate was 6.5% during the same period. But this is only data, and this is only used to guide us to uh, a conclusion, but there are many of other things to consider. But in general, the Philippines is a safe country for most expats most of the time. But if someone comes to the Philippines and they don't research scams and they throw their money around and they're not very streetwise, then of course it's, uh, it's bound to happen. Something's bound to happen in that regard. So you have to be really careful and let's not forget the Philippines has a lot of scams. So I would most definitely say there are many scams and there are legitimate safety concerns for foreigners who are living and moving to the Philippines. But most visits are trouble free, but you have to be streetwise when you live in the Philippines. And another piece of feedback I received was talking about the traffic situation. They said they feel like they're wasting their life in traffic. Yep they are right this is a big problem in the Philippines and it is one consideration especially if you need to go to work or if you're traveling to and from a place it's always recommended when you actually live in the Philippines to find a place that's very close to the establishments or the amendments that you normally go to so for example if you like to go to the gym or you like to go to a certain type of restaurant perhaps you're a vegan or something like that and you want to be situated near those kind of places it's always recommended because the travel time can really eat away at your free time. There was of course a lot of different comments about tons of different subjects but interestingly I found a forum with a lot of questions talking about specific countries. So these questions were after living in the Philippines for a number of years would you go back to the US, Australia, Canada, blah blah blah. Would you go back to these countries or would you stay in the Philippines? Interestingly even people who have mentioned negative things about the Philippines or concerns that they have stated that they would not go back to their home country, that they see the Philippines as their home now. This was not everybody but I could see this was maybe between 90 to 95 percent of people said that they would stay in the Philippines. I also get a lot of questions asking me specific questions about the Philippines and some people ask questions because they don't feel that they can comment or they you know they don't really want to comment certain types of questions which i i totally understand but let's take a look at a few of these questions so one of the first questions is about relationships and the question is basically can i find a decent wife in the philippines is it worth it you know what's the deal here well first of all there are plenty of decent filipinas all across the philippines but unfortunately you won't meet those in the bars and the clubs and this is one of the biggest mistakes that foreigners make, especially when they just move to the Philippines. Some people fall into the beauty trap where they see someone who's absolutely stunning and it's almost like their logical mind disappears and they make decisions and these decisions are not always the best because if you meet people in the bars and the clubs they may look 
absolutely stunning and Filipinos without a doubt are very very beautiful people but if you meet those in those kind of venues they're not always the type of people who are looking for long-term committed relationships. The reality is that there are many people who are on the poverty line or who are in poverty who work in those bars and clubs so even if you find someone and perhaps they even have a desire to have a relationship with a foreigner the relationship and love aspect is almost secondary but money will always take the priority as they're trying to survive so if you're going to those kind of places you're bound to meet these kinds of people and the thing is foreigners fall into many different categories but you have foreigners who are living in the Philippines and they love life and they just enjoy enjoy what they're doing but then you have those who get involved in the culture they understand a little bit more and the Philippines is is their whole life. The latter tend to know that there are many different types of Filipinos and there are some really decent Filipinos that you won't find in the bars or the clubs. Whereas the first group will go to the bars and the clubs, they'll meet different types of Filipinos and they'll think that all Filipinos are like that and that's simply not the case. Another question that came in was asking about the different opportunities for foreigners. Can foreigners start a new life? You know, is it a good time to go? All these kind of things. And what I would say about the Philippines is one of the biggest advantages for foreigners who are thinking of moving to the Philippines is that it is a country full of opportunities. This can be an opportunity to start a business, an opportunity to invest in real estate, or it could be an opportunity to start a brand new life and recreate yourself. Will there be risks? Unfortunately, the answer is yes but the country is full of opportunity. So one of the big questions that I often get asked is, you know, how much do I need to live in the Philippines long term? And we've talked about this so many times, so I won't repeat the same thing. But what I will say is whatever you think you need, just add a little bit more. Potentially budget an extra $200 or $300 on top of what you think you'll need. The thing about the Philippines is that it is a very diverse country in terms of how much you'll need financially. There are some areas that you'll find very, very expensive especially in the north or in the popular islands. But at the same time, in the south and the east of the country, you'll find some areas that have a very, very low cost of living. So conclusion time. Is moving to the Philippines a good idea? As we know, there are advantages and disadvantages. However, those benefits far outweigh the drawbacks of living in the Philippines. But what I would say is that you consider the pros and cons that I've spoken about today and on my other videos, and obviously what other expats have said as well, and consider those to your own life. Nevertheless, there are three key things that I would recommend if you're planning to move or live in the Philippines. The first one is to have a backup plan or an exit plan. The second is to have backup cash. And the third is to make sure that you always make the best and the smartest decision. 